Hello everyone, I'm Catherine Desinas Applin and today I have a story time about social distancing and masks, which I'm sure won't be controversial at all because everybody is on the same page about everything. We're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about the differences between the distance we keep between ourselves in the US and France and Belgium, and I'm just going to use broad strokes and say Europe in general. So in the US, we keep a nice, comfortable distance of 12 inches, which isn't that much space if you think about it post-pandemic. 12, that's, that's not a lot, that's not six feet, that's not the one and a half meters. When you come from a culture where you keep a nice, comfortable distance away from each other, when you go to, to France and it's half the distance, ooh, like, you don't think that you'll react in negative ways to cultural differences until you're in that situation. And ugh, I hate going grocery shopping because when people invade my personal space, I just, mm, I want to just beat them with a leak or something. Just, I don't want to be your friend. Go away. <laughs> Ooh, I reacted negatively. I, I really couldn't understand why French people and Europeans in general were so completely unaware of their spatial presence and they kept invading my space. Like, this is my space, stay away. And it took a really long time before I realized that no, each individual culture has their own idea of personal space. <laughs> And while I was there being all angry at everybody for invading my personal space, uh, they were having the same negative reaction with me because they thought I was being standoffish and rude. So always remember that feelings, negative or positive, typically go both ways. Maybe that can help you with overcoming them. <laughs> because still, even though I'm aware of the difference, it's still... <laughs> I try not to get upset about it because I know they're not doing it to be malicious or anything. It just, it makes me uncomfortable because I don't want to be that close to people. But now post pandemic, people are a meter and a half away. It's, it's so much better than the measly 12 inches that we, that I grew up with. It's like, I can't believe I ever let people get that close to me. It's no, no, just, I, I love it. Guys, my favorite part about the pandemic is the masks and I have an epic story guys oh my gosh and I should start off by just saying I was in a bad mood I'm always in a bad mood when I go to the grocery store because I never want to go there I don't know what it is about having to do grocery shopping but it's that one thing that I hate doing so I'm at the grocery store in the produce section looking at tomatoes and out of the corner of my eye, I see this woman staring at me. And because I'm in a bad mood, and my eyes are a bit more confrontational than myself, I looked at her, my eye said, what? And the woman's demeanor changed. And she started searching for something because I guess she lost something. I don't know, I was so confused by the situation. Because she, 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 she just ended up going away and I, I thought, okay, what was that? And then I just went back to looking at my tomatoes. <laughs> Later, this big burly dude starts looking at me. So my eyes say to the guy, like, WTF is your problem, you freaking Belgians. And then I just went on a little swearing rant because <laughs> my eyes are very aggressive. The same thing happens with him as the other woman. He, he just, his demeanor changes, he starts looking around and then he goes away. And I was thinking, okay, like, this is really weird. I'm starting to get self-conscious, like, is there something wrong with my face? Is my hair weird? Is there something on my clothes? What is going on? And then it happens again. At this point, I'm really angry. I don't understand why people are staring at me in this really weird, awkward way. And my eyes are like, F off. And the guy walks away and 
At this point, I start talking to myself as normal people do. If you don't talk to yourself, you're weird. And so my mind and my eyes are having this whole conversation about how Belgians are so obnoxious and rude and apparently were raised by wolves because they didn't learn that staring was impolite. And that's when my mouth decided to get in and say, they're probably just enjoying your singing. <laughs> and my mind said, no, we're singing in our head. <laughs> and my mouth was like, oh no, we're singing out loud. <laughs> Embarrassment washed over me and I just wanted to crawl under my cart and die. <laughs> I did not realize that I was singing out loud and that's why everybody was looking at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, but see, but see, no, 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 no. There's this part of me, the evil dark side, the little troll that I keep locked away in a cage, but sometimes she gets out. Oh my gosh, Catherine, you are gonna have so much fun from now on. And it's true because guys with a the mask, they didn't know that it was me singing, which is why they kept searching. Like, where is this sound coming from? Am I hearing things? And ever since then, I love going grocery shopping. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. Do you know how much fun it is to just randomly talk or sing to yourself and have the people looking around like, where's that noise coming from? And they don't know it's from you because you're wearing a mask. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do when this is over and nobody can wear masks? Because really this only works with everybody wearing a mask because then they don't know it's me. I'm not gonna be able to 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 to, to, to troll them properly, Ah, oh. It's the little things in life that give you pleasure. If this is the second or third video of mine that you've watched, which I know that 80% of you watch my videos and you don't subscribe. I mean, sh should this keep you up at night? It really should. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Tote scenes, my apple scenes. Maybe this can just be the outro of this loud banging. What is it? It's the people that I've captured and keep locked up upstairs, which I probably even shouldn't joke about because it's the internet and somebody will take me seriously.